bad Beatles covers, hooking up with your dead sister's boyfriend and dance moves that look like electrotherapy. Get set for a shock. G'day, I'm Mark Fennell and welcome to Bollywood for Beginners where we review all that is strange, stunning and sublime about Indian film history. And if I was to say to you, Yahoo, you would think of the website, right? Well, if I were to say it to a lover of classic Bollywood, there's a fairly good chance that they would start convulsing. And no, it's not because they're violently pro-Google. It's because of a man named Shami Kapoor. Okay, to explain, back in the 1960s when the rest of the world was out there experimenting with free love and prog rock and the sexual revolution, India was not. And it just was not working for a young actor named Shami Kapoor, who was the son of an enormous filmmaking dynasty. His father, his brother, his mother were all massive stars and comparatively, Shami was kind of like a boring photocopy, a bit like a Baldwin brother. All that changed with a certain dance. It was called the Yahoo. Yahoo! Its first reported sighting was in a 1961 film called Jungli, but for me, its best appearance was in a movie called Tisri Manzil from 1966. A young woman, Sunita, gets news that her sister has committed suicide after being dumped by her jazz drummer boyfriend. Though if you ask me, dating a drummer in a jazz band is self-harm enough. Who am I to judge though? When Sunita rocks up to town where her sister died, she discovers that her sister has not committed suicide. Ah! She was murdered. Ah. Sunita then gets distracted from her investigation when she hooks up with dead sister's boyfriend, which I'm sure is breaking all kinds of girl codes, but once again, who am I to judge? And of course, in the role of jazz drummer slash destroyer of women is Shami Kapoor. This new incarnation of Shami Kapoor had gotten rid of the pencil thin moustache, she degreased the hair, he'd become one of the great new cavalier stars of indie cinema, and in true Bollywood style, he did it with a dance. Some say the Yahoo looks like an electric shock with rhythm. Others dispute the rhythm claim. The goal of the dance, as best as I can tell, seems to be to see if you can vibrate every single joint in your body at the same time whilst remaining upright. It's like watching a shaken baby listening to dubstep. The film is bright, bubbly, colourful, you know, all the things you want from your murder investigations. But Indian teenagers went mad for it. Shami Kapoor became like a Bollywood Elvis or a Bollywood Beatle, which actually may have had more to do with the fact that they completely rip off a Beatles song. Look, copyright infringements aside, T3 Manzil is actually a lot of fun and it also was one of the first movies to acknowledge how increasingly westernised young Indian people were becoming. I mean, there just were no rebels with leather jackets on the screen in those days. And it just goes to show that in India you can have a sexual revolution without any sex, but tons of vibrating. (laughs) 